now that it's much more convenient to get downtown down there, I'd be more likely to go. Residents of Charles Village have been waiting for this day for years. The Charm City Circulator, the city's free bus service, expanded the Purple Route to include a stop on 33rd Street near St. Paul. Councilwoman Mary Pat Clark said discussion about it started in 2010 after someone killed Hopkins researcher Stephen Pitcairn in a robbery as he walked to his Charles Village home. One of the things people said is if we had the circulator, he would have been riding it, he would have been safe. Um, at least it would have been an option. And so it's a safety thing for us as well as a convenience. The fate of the circulator itself became uncertain last year. 11 News reported it's run a deficit of more than $11 million since it started in 2009. But Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake says it's important enough to citizens that they will figure out how to keep it running. Director Johnson and his team are taking a look at it moving forward on how we can make sure it's a more sustainable model. They haven't gotten a, I haven't gotten a, you know, a full answer on how we're going to get there, but we know that this is something that's important to the public. The new Purple Route will shuttle folks to points downtown, including the Inner Harbor and Federal Hill. The new stop is just a block from the Hopkins University campus, and students are excited to use it. Well, usually we have to like, either like take taxis or like hop on a series of buses to get to wherever. And the College Town shuttles, it's nice, but it's like not as frequent as the uh, Charm City Circulator. But residents say everyone in the area will benefit. I don't want to be doing like a long walk from. Um, from Penn Station at night by myself, so I live in Charles Village, so it's much more convenient. The mayor says the ridership of the Charm City Circulator has far exceeded their expectations. It gets between four and five million riders per year. Reporting live in North Baltimore, Kim Day, CWBAL TV 11 News.